Yo, Homo Sapiens, it's Dave from Open Source Gangster, and I'm going to show you how to run Windows on your Android phone. Before we begin, just one conundrum, which I'm about to mention. This will only work with Windows 95, so really, there's no point in doing this whatsoever, except to play Minesweeper, the most awesome game ever on Windows 95, and I'm going to show you how to do that once we get it running, okay? So... Some prerequisites you will need before we can get this working is a decent Android phone. Boom. Uh, by decent, I mean um, at least 512 megabytes of RAM and <laughs> I don't know, a gigahertz processor. Um, also, you will need an RNR extractor. Basically, what an RNR file is is a compressed zip file for anybody who doesn't know that. Um, for similar to .zip file, and you can find many RNR extractors on the internet. I use free RNR. And because it's so easy, you subclick it and extracts it. So find an R and R extractor, then you're good to go. Okay, and that's it. So let's get this moving. Boom, roasted. First, download the RER file. I provide a link in the video description where you can download the file at. Next, extract the RER file. Connect your phone via USB storage mode. Now transfer the SDL app .apk to your root of your SD card. Now move the SDL folder also to the root of your SD card. Okay, now I'm going to go to the root of my SD card. I'm using Astro, however, you can use any file browser you want. Okay, once in your file browser, look for an app called SDL app. It's going to be an APK file. Click it, and I'm going to open App Manager, and install. Install. So install the lib, it's going to install lib SDL. However, the name of the application you find in your file browser is going to be called SDL app. So just take a note of that. Okay, once it's installed, go down here to open. And that's it. Now you're booting up to Windows and everything should work fine. So just give it a few minutes. It may take a while on the first boot. Okay, so here it is. We're booting up to Windows. Have that nice blue screen. That would be so funny if a blue screen of death just popped up right now. And voila, or voila, I should say. <laughs> it's right here, Windows 95, right in front of you. Okay, so there's not much you can do with this. I'm going to show you quickly how you can get to some simple stuff. Navigation is really difficult because Windows 95 was not touch friendly. Um, but actually, we like push the cursor around and you just click anywhere, it should work. So, I'm going to show you how about let's go to Minesweeper. Best game back in the day. Accessories, games, and Minesweeper. Boom. Click. There we go. And look, we have Minesweeper right there. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> Minesweeper on Windows 95. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't mind playing this. Okay, so like I said, there's not much you can do with this. Um, you can try to go ahead and explore, but there's no Wi-Fi drivers on here. In fact, I don't know Windows 95 supports Wi-Fi. And even if it did, once again, Wi-Fi drivers aren't pushed through there, so that will not work. Um, you can go through your documents. Oh, another thing is you can't really transfer anything on here because it does not read your SD card as a hard drive. I tried that and <laughs> couldn't get it to work. Um, you can change your background picture by going to Control Panel and then see if that works. Go to Control Panel. Then going to background. Now it is sort of slow. Um, depending on your device, it may even be slower or quicker. On my Evo, it's kind of slow. And plus, Windows 95, it's not really fast. So, yeah. 
here's display. If I want to, I can display my change my wallpaper. Oh, uh, that may be a while. Okay, well to save some time, you kind of get the point. You can just change your display. Uh, you have all this other stuff down here, which really won't be useful. Um, <laughs> so hey, you can play solids here. <laughs> That's a good side. Okay, so lastly, when you're ready to exit this um, program, or I should say Windows, um, remember to shut down properly. You cannot just hit the close button on your phone. That will not work. Because if you do, it's going to give you an error saying you did not shut down properly, and it's going to do a whole scan disk check, just like it does on the actual OS, and that's not fun. So when you're ready to shut it down, just go to start, and go to shut down, and hit that. Shut down, shut down. There we go. Then go to shut down computer. Yes. Click yes. And it's going to shut down for you. And, oh, Windows 95 shut down. And boom, you're back to your regular Android application. So there you go. That's running Windows on your Android device. So much fun. And I can't wait to Windows 7 works with this. <laughs> One day it will. Okay, thanks for watching. Tune in for another galvanizing video. Ta ta!